happy. I think that we all are confronted with whatever it is and we've all, and whatever we're confronted with is always too big. I mean, we, we initially look at it and go, oh my God, I couldn't do that. And then you can. So one of the things it does is, you know, in my work, everything I do is about how can we breach the bias? What is the bias you've got in your head? Because we've all got it. What is the bias in your head that's actually blocking you, making it, whatever it is, seem impossible? And when you shift back from that to your dragon fire, which is the soul of what it is you're doing, then they, you start to burn away the lies and start to see the difference. So that's what the change was for me. I think that you've got to be willing to ask yourself the difficult questions that most people are not willing to ask. And where does that start? Well, you can start anywhere you want, but here's what it is. Whatever it is you want to do, that you say you believe you running is impossible, I'm gonna give you a, a technique, a, a mental strategy that I use with my clients, and that is this. Whatever it is, I want you to pick something in your mind as you're listening, as you're watching right now, that seems impossible, not silly impossible, as in impossible for you in your business as you grow as an entrepreneur. And now I want you to ask yourself, whatever it is, write it down, here's what you believe, blah, 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 is impossible for you, great. Now I want you to ask yourself this question, what has to be true for that to be true? So you say, well, I just can't scale. Okay, what has to be true for that to be true? Well, I have to have no skills to scale. Great. Okay, could you get skills? Yes. Where could I get them from? Well, I could learn them from uh, Chris. I could learn them from Dob. I could learn them from Charlie or Susan or whoever it is. So you start asking this question and you go not one level, but you go five levels. What has to be true for that to be true? What has to be true for that to be true? And so what I challenge people to do with this is they go, well, you know, they might get stuck in a business. Take, pick something else. Pick something else that you believe and start challenging it. And you start training your brain because your brain is neuroplastic and it will reform and rechange. You start changing those synaptic links so you can start thinking in a different way. You have to train your brain because as you very well said, this is, it's environmental, it's community, and it's often multi-generational and it's not true. Whatever it is, whatever you believe, it's only true if you make it true. That's not positive thinking, that's psychology of humanity. It's only true if you believe it's true. So this is where I want to challenge people to look at and the practical level is what has to be true for this to be true. But here's the simple scale for anybody. I want you to look at your life and break it into categories. So break it into primary relationships, break it into familial relationships, break it into health, fitness, mentality, emotionality, motivation, whatever terms you want to go into and simply score yourself on one to 10. Just go through it and score yourself on one to 10. Then I want you to go and ask two people who know you really well, how they would score you. Now, again, this takes some cojones. You've got to be real. You've got to be vulnerable and say, okay, tell me how you would score me. And I promise not to get offended. Let them score you. And then ask two people who don't, who know you, but don't know you as well as the first two. You will get a very different answer. And then when you get those, then you go, okay, so if I average out between these three, what is the number? So I got a five, I got a seven, I got a six, the average is six. Okay, great. Now you say, so if I was to be an eight in that area, if I'm a six, if I was to be an eight in that area, what is the belief system I have that keeps me at a six? And you go, well, I believe this. Okay, what has to be true for that to be true? And what has to be true for that to be true? Because here's the thing, people talk about changing beliefs, but they don't understand that beliefs collectively are called a paradigm. So one belief, you change a belief, it doesn't matter. Beliefs are held in clusters in the mind. They're held in clusters and they create paradigms. So you collapse this belief and this belief pops in instead. You actually have to go to the root instead. So what has to be true for that to be true is a five level beat that makes you go, okay. And here's the thing, and I wanted to say this to everybody because you're an entrepreneur. Here's what I believe, it's not the truth, it's what I believe. I believe that you did not get your hopes and your dreams by accident. I don't believe that. I believe you've got them for, for a very good reason. 
you've found a vehicle and the vehicle is called entrepreneurship in whatever form it's in but what is that vehicle for that vehicle is for you to fulfill your dragon fire is for you to fulfill the reason you came to this planet and you're using this vehicle whether it's an online course or whatever it is that you're doing to do that you are actually eternally driven by your need to make a difference to have impact so that you wouldn't be given that dream without the possibility of having that impact will you have to crawl over grass glass absolutely you will it's not going to be easy let's so let's get rid of this whole easy nonsense it's you're going to have to work hard and it's going to be worth it because it's about fulfilling your soul